I'm gonna go ahead and stick my plugs in my plug holes just to keep snakes from crawling in my motor while I'm away at work in case I don't get back to this today. These are Bosch plugs. I saw a guy talking about Bosch plugs in Volkswagen this morning. And he seemed to be of the opinion that it was very important to run them because them other plugs would cause you trouble. So I'm okay with that. I'll run them. I need you to get in the hole there. Go on in there. You got a big hole for you, huh? Yeah, I do. I got one hole that somebody drilled out. Looky there. Well, that's, that probably is a good point of me saying more about what I just said. Uh, fella, I was, fella on YouTube this morning is talking about sometimes people will put plugs in here that don't fit. And they'll, oh, there's my wife. Hey, honey, baby. I just tell them, I just talking to all the people out there on YouTube land. And, and look, look here, who came in? There's my wife. Hi, honey. How you doing? I'm going I'm to stop talking to y'all talk to her for a while. All right, I'll talk about this some more. I was saying that this guy on YouTube this morning was saying that some of these off-brand plugs was longer. They would go down in there, carbon would build up on them, and then when you unscrewed them, you'd take the threads out with them. Well, just so happens somebody had already done that on this one, and this one has a larger plug because of that. That's just a point of interest. I was trying to screw that plug in there. It wouldn't go. It wouldn't go because the hole's big, and the hole's big because somebody's already re-thread, re-cut that out and re-threaded it with a bigger hole. So, okay, I get it. So anyway, I'm just going to stick him in there and let them sit. I have to remember that if I ever put new plugs. But that also tells me that this engine ain't a version. Somebody's had these heads off before. And they've at least done that work on it. They've replaced that plug here. I suspected as much when I was poking around with it here. I just had a feeling somebody had had the part before. I can't remember why. I saw something somewhere that made me think that, yeah, but I can't remember what it was right now. Oh, my nose is just getting colder and colder as I'm out here talking. I might have to give all this up and go in the house. The labor. I wonder if he's going to stop. No, he's still going. He kept going. Well, I thought I'd get this running this weekend, but I'm kind of looking like I might not. That's okay. We ain't in no race or nothing. We can work at our own speed and get it done when we get it done, you know. So, like I was saying, I put them plugs back in there so I wouldn't have snakes crawling inside my spark plug holes while I was work this week. And, uh, I'll, keep the, I'll keep the snakes out of my motor. force a plug in there wrong, double thread, off thread, that's another thing you can do to these really easy because they're aluminum. You get a plug going in there at the wrong angle and mess your threads up. Oh, that's going to make you have a lot of unhappy days. So, Alright, enough of that. Okay then, I'm going to shut things down because I might not come back out here. One well, thing about it, what I got done today will make it a lot easier because when I come back out here, all I got to do is uh, distributor, intake manifold, carburetor. I ought to put this oil filler thing on here with the proper gasket, uh, valve cover gaskets, and rocker arms, and set the valves and put the push rods in the tubes and run all the wires to it. And I'm going to crank it first without the fan shroud. Just make sure everything's good. I'll probably lay a piece of metal on top of this just because it goes through the hole there. The, the metal sits right there where that hole is for your uh, manifold. But Oh, we'll hear this thing run for too long. It'll be good. It'll be real good. I'm happy about it. Very happy.